Hi, today we're going to talk a little bit about avoiding scams. Right now, you may be learning to do things in different ways, or perhaps you're hearing a lot of conflicting information about things like stimulus payments, whether bills are owed, or other financial matters. It's important that you know how to avoid scams and to keep your money and information safe. First, let's talk about those stimulus payments. A lot of people are worried about them. If you have filed your taxes in tax year 2018 or 19 and provided direct deposit information to the government or you receive social security payments, you will get your stimulus payment automatically. There's no need to do anything and it will be de deposited into your bank account. If not, go to irs.gov IRS and click the link to provide the information. Don't use any other links than the one directly from the Internal Revenue Service. Also, know that the IRS is not going to text you, call you, or email you for your information. This isn't how the IRS works. If you're new to paying bills online, you should use your paper bill to find the website address to pay your bill, or call the number on the bill to pay over the phone. If you're contacted, make sure that it's actually the biller and it is a valid debt before you make a payment. They should already know your information and it should make sense to you. For instance, if your cell phone company calls, you know you're late on your payment, and they know your account number and phone number, you could go ahead and make your payment online. If you receive a phone call or an email about a debt and you feel uncomfortable or concerned that maybe it's not valid, go ahead and call back using the number on your bill, your debit card or credit card, depending on who it is, and when you call, you'll be sure that it's a safe way to make your payment. In general, remember to protect your social security number, your bank account information, your PIN numbers. That information is not something you should be sharing unless it is someone you have contacted. In general, your bank and other billers will not use email to ask for personal information. Personal information is not secure when sent over email typically. You can always, always, Make a call back yourself or reach out to the organization, bank, or other biller about a phone call or an email that you find questionable. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you are staying safe in this time.